All right, Bay Area mobile home parks can be more affordable, certainly, but they're also highly vulnerable to the soaring price of real estate. But some mobile homeowners in the South Bay are mounting an effort to take control of their homes. KPX 5's John Ramos has the story. Residents of this mobile home park in San Jose got a scare that they may all be thrown out of their homes. So they went to City Hall and won a victory, not just for themselves, but for every mobile home owner in the city. Two years ago, homeowners in the West Winds Mobile Home Park got this letter from park management saying the property owners were giving no lease extensions, possibly displacing over 720 households and over 1,600 residents. We were alarmed. We said, hey, we got to do something to protect our park. This is the last thing that you would want to do is to take this out of our inventory because we don't have enough affordable housing at all. Mobile homeowners are in a tough spot since they own a home but not the land under it. Moving out would mean moving the house as well. So residents formed a homeowners group and petitioned City Hall and in March they won. The city created a mobile home only zoning for not just West Winds but every mobile home park in town. What we're looking for is the security of knowing that our homes are not going to be sold out from underneath us. But knowing that the city's protection could one day be reversed, the West Winds homeowners are working to form a co-op that would buy the park, making the residents co-owners of the land itself. Paul Bradley heads up a nonprofit that helps mobile homeowners form co-ops. When the homeowners step up and purchase the community, they're removing this property from the speculative real estate market and, bring, and re removing the profit motive from the operation of the community. The co-op effort has a long way to go, building its membership and attracting investors. But they hope one day that this place they call home will be something that no one can take away from them. In San Jose, John Ramos, KPIX 5. San Jose now has special zoning laws, but most cities do not, leaving mobile homeowners vulnerable if the property is targeted for redevelopment.